Hello, welcome back to Crane Style. Today I will be reviewing the New Balance 650R in the gray, gray colorway. Um, just to start off this review, the shoes do not come with these laces in them. I just want to start wearing them so I can give you kind of a full idea of the sneaker and tell you the how they feel on foot, the comfort, see if it varies from the 550s. I have on a pair of 650s, but I'm just curious if this all suede and new buck build would be any different than the all other builds that ALD released last year. So that's kind of why you see different laces on here compared. There's still gonna be a B-roll with the gray laces right here. I just put them in the ALD bag that I took these cream laces from. But yeah, uh, just to start off, this in my opinion is the best New Balance 650R that has released so far. Um, just from the material quality, it's a par. It's the best, some of the best New Buck I've seen on a pair of New Balances. Um, the sways on here feel really nice. I do believe that is a pigskin sway. So if you are Muslim, uh, steer clear of this shoe, just so you know. Uh, I don't want you to buy a product that you can't wear due to your religion and your beliefs. I don't want you to have to waste your money or have to return something and go through that entire process. Just rather help you save that money. Um, just these parts right here feel like that pigskin suede. So does the collar suede here, feels like pigskin suede. Um, but yeah, the new buck on here is really nice, feels really good, it has really nice transitions. You can't see it really well on camera, but you can see it a lot better in person it's very buttery term a lot of sneakers like to say but yeah it's a really high quality really nice something i really like about the 650rs is they're very easy to put on and take like take on and take off even when you have them fully laced you might have to like loosen them a little bit but due to how um not so structured or how it's not too sturdy of a collar you can just stretch it out a little bit slip your foot in there and then you'll be good to go Compared to something like Nike Blazers, um, Air Jordan 1 Highs, just a lot of high top sneakers. These are actually really nice for that reason alone. They have all the same technology from the 550s. Only thing I would say is the build and the makeup is slightly different once you start to get towards that collar area. Uh, you can kind of see right here. What I mean is like the back tab right there is kind of the same on the heel. Once you get higher up, this like little strap area right here adjusts and changes and you get quite a bit more mesh, which I find to be pretty good. Still really great for all times of the year. Um, I feel like this sneaker will be a little bit warm in the summertime, but besides that, just because they're not a very breathable shoe, they are really good. They're really great. They also still have that same EVA wedge on throughout the shoe that really provides all the comfort in the sneaker which I think is more than enough compared to a lot of other sneakers out there like Air Force Ones and a lot of Nike Dunks. Um, you have that non-marking sole, which really does grab everything, but I kind of cleaned these up just for the review. Kind of didn't like how the 550s looked in the last one. Um, yeah, and they just don't actually leave a mark. They're very durable. Uh, these pair right here, I've had since they released, I've worn them on every single trip I've gone on and they have not deteriorated. I do need to clean them. They are mess <laughs> probably should have done that before this video but hey uh still a great pair of shoes very reliable uh you could really get this pair of sneakers and it could be your only pair of sneakers you don't have to have like five or six you could just kind of have a pair of 550s or maybe 650s depending on your preference or 550s or 650s and you would be good to go just depending on if you like a high cut build or a low low top build yeah that's pretty much all for this view oh yeah and go true to size for 550s 650s always go true to size you'd be good to go. Just make sure you lace it all the way up to the top. If you do like leave one eyelid on the 550s available, it is gonna have some heel drag, but that's not how the shoe's meant to be worn. Uh, for the 650s, you can just go and leave one available and you'll be good to go. You won't have any heel drag, your foot won't pop out at all. It'll be snug in there, not too snug, just a little bit of room around the toes, but your heel will be snug to the back and you won't have any heel drag. Shoes will be good. So when it comes to quality and QC, the quality, like I was saying before, is amazing. It's really nice. The new buck suede's all subpar. The only issues I saw is something I see on a lot of 550s and some 650s, even the ALD pairs, is some of the stitching is just a little bit wonky. Like right here, we have it right there. And I think that's pretty much it for this pair. But my other pair here, it was some other stitching areas, like right here to where it's just bulges out or it's not how it's supposed to be. Yeah, so the stitching is the only thing that seems to be an issue, and it's not even on the upper, it's on the midsole. So it's not going to be a real huge problem. Like no stitching is going to come frayed or undone, but that's, yeah.
pretty much it for me this is easily a 12 out of 10 sneaker like don't be surprised he's in my top 10 at the end of the year when i do top 10 list possibly they're just one of my favorites i can't wait to wear these a lot more especially with these cream laces they look good with the gray but i would suggest you definitely go get some cream la cream laces if you want to know where to get a good pair you can leave a comment i'll comment down some options and you can go cop a pair all right cool see you in the next video and these are readily available on new balance all sites pretty much they're not selling they're sitting so you can go get yourself a pair or you could wait a couple more weeks and they might get marked down ten dollars like all the other 650s have on new balance so hey it's up to you but yeah i uh, thank you for watching this video that's pretty much all for today please stick around for the on foot portion and the unboxing see you in the next video peace